Hello everybody, my name is Huệ, but today I'm going to be talking about why do we prefer cute things? Well, did you ever look in the picture and say, oh, that's so cute? Or, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I just want to hug it. Or did you ever have said to yourself those senses or feel like cute things are just so attractive? Even people who look cute are attracting you. And why do we prefer cute things? Well, there is a kind of health problem called cuteness disease. And this doesn't happen to everybody else. Like now, if you ask my father if he likes cute, or if, like I'm saying, if you that ask my mother, if she really, really loves coats that she would love to hug every cute thing, then she would say no. Maybe sometimes she could do her clothes a little bit cute, but she doesn't love cute things. Why? Why are some people like it? I don't mention about the other people. Like they could, like, doesn't like cute things. It could happen like that. Well, why do we prefer cute things? Well, look, here I have, um, there a mirror. And you can see on it, there's cute characters, right? Like rabbits, bears, ch the chicken, that's kind of cute. And then you ever go in shopping like me? When I go shopping, I'm finding about the mirror. Every mirror is beautiful, and all of them is cheap. None of them is more expensive. But when I look at this thing, the first thing that I really know is that, oh, why is it so cute? And because of that cuteness, I put it in the top one of my things that I need to have when I'm fighting the mirror. Well, if you're a person that's just like me, then nearly, if you're searching some pictures on the internet and you found posting that shows about cute dogs or cats or hamster playing with their owner, we tend to look at them longer and more often, right? And usually we would like it at I am a fan of internet, but I doesn't like to like a lot because I'm lazy to do that. And but sometimes you could see me not liking other video, but like those videos that look cute because they're so cute. Let's spend time with them longer and more often. Now, if you have a cat then probably the thing that you will look more often is the cat. Not just because it was your pet. You have the responsibility to do it, I know. But also it's because a part of its cuteness that makes you, oh, this is so beautiful that you must look at it more often. Or if you're a person who doesn't like cute, then you could skip this video because this video is just for cute fans. Well, cuteness is also thought to influence behavior. In, nine, in 2009, there was a group of scientists who have made a small experiment. And they have understand that when a person was doing a math problem, but there's a cute thing with them, they feel to become more comfortable and they works for a better mood. They have a better mood too. But if you prefer cute things, then when you look at cute things, it was just like an emotional boost to you. And to me too. And the fact that cuteness hijacks our emotion is certainly not lost on authors and advertisers. Like now, you can see a lot of advertisers around. And they 
really does really care of. Water is the style, right? And usually, you will see the style of cuteness is the most popular one. Then coolness everything else and all theories now think of stories really fun and cute too so that kids like us love like usually a lot of kids like us especially girls like me love cute things like nearly all my friends loves cute things except for one she's a person who doesn't like this cuteness at all she prefers studying than these cuties. But now I want you to share with me if you really have this cute disease and is there anything that you really look longer and more often when it was cute? Or is there anything else that you also give attention to it even if it was not cute? If not, it's okay. Just share with me. Thank mm -hmm. you.